It's a rare genetic chronic kidney condition characterized by declining kidney function that could lead to end-stage kidney disease. All patients experience kidney-related symptoms and some experience hearing loss and eye abnormalities. It's also a highly progressive disease that is often undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. Today, we're going to hear from one woman whose life was affected and how she became a passionate advocate to help others. Let's go behind the mystery of Alport syndrome. I'm a mother of four adult children and I have three beautiful grandchildren. I'm a retired dialysis administrator, registered nurse. Uh, I've been a nurse for 45 years, once a nurse, always a nurse. Have worked mostly in and around the dialysis community through my career. I graduated from nursing school in 1974 and Part of leaving nursing school was to have a wellness exam. They identified that I had blood in my urine and they accounted to probably just having a menstrual period. Um, but three weeks later, in a pre-employment physical, I also still had blood in my urine. Also, they identified then protein in my urine. So I was referred to um, a nephrologist for a workup. We met with nephrologist Dr. Pablo Pergola in San Antonio, Texas, who specializes in Alport syndrome. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body, essential to the function of many organs, and if mutated or missing, it can result in, in disease. Alport syndrome is a disease that involves a mutation in a specific type of collagen, this type 4 collagen, uh, that can lead uh, to disease in the kidney, eyes and ears. In many patients, male or female, uh, that kidney function can be lost over time fairly fast. That can result in significant loss of kidney function requiring dialysis or transplantation. Alport syndrome is considered one of the most severe types of chronic kidney disease and compared to other forms, the condition causes a much more rapid progression to end-stage kidney disease. There are three patterns of inheritance for Alport syndrome. One is the X-linked pattern, where the X chromosome is affected, and non-sex-linked pattern. They are the autosomal recessive form and the autosomal dominant form. Symptom presentation and disease severity can vary widely depending on the type of inheritance that you have. And often, many generations of that same family can have the disease. It's estimated that approximately 30 to 60,000 people in the U.S. are affected. I knew that my mom had blood in her urine and just lived a long life with um, continuing decline of her kidney function. Her two brothers had died of kidney failure. So when I was referred to the nephrologist, um, he asked a lot of questions about my family history, and he was the one that connected the dots between my symptoms and my um, mom's family history. I um, was told that I had Alport syndrome and that I didn't have to worry about it because women are just carriers, which we know, of course, is not true anymore. I continued to be followed by my primary care provider rather than returning to a nephrologist. Kidney-related symptoms include hematuria, protein or albumin in urine called proteinuria, and progressive loss of kidney function leading to end-stage renal disease. I did more research into Alport syndrome. I knew that I had had more protein in my urine. When I started seeing my new nephrologist, she wanted to confirm to be sure that she was going to be monitoring and treating me appropriately. So she recommended genetic testing and it came back positive for X-linked teleport syndrome. While obtaining a diagnosis is key to providing early intervention, there are still no treatment options and many patients continue to be misdiagnosed. Many patients are misdiagnosed because the early manifestation of Alport syndrome is 
uh, hematuria and proteinuria can be misinterpreted as many other common conditions that physicians will see and not think of Alport syndrome. The stereotypical patient with Alport syndrome is the x lick male. And because of that, it's common that uh, physicians don't think of a female with signs and symptoms that our manifestation of Alport syndrome as having the condition. So it's very important to recognize that Alport syndrome is not just a disease of males. Because of the genetic inheritance pattern, Janine's family was also tested. With Alport syndrome, there are no carriers. You either have the mutation or you don't. My daughter and I both have X-linked Alport syndrome. Both of her children will be tested. All three of my sons, my sister is positive for X-linked Alport syndrome. If Alport syndrome is suspected, the diagnostic process includes a detailed family history, a urine test, a blood test to check your kidney function, a kidney biopsy, and genetic testing. My current symptoms include continued blood and protein in my urine. Um, and I have uh, hearing loss. Treating the complications related to the progressive loss of kidney function is very important and a standard of care, but there is a significant unmet need regarding delaying progression to the dreaded need for dialysis or transplantation. Um, since I retired, I um, still had a lot of energy and enthusiasm for the renal community. I've had the opportunity to talk with nephrologists, scientists, researchers, and the work that they're doing is just amazing. And those that are looking for cures, I hope they keep looking. Meantime, I hope they remember we just don't want to be on dialysis. I had the opportunity to become a moderator on um, Alport Syndrome Foundation's um, private social media online community. So many of them are scared and devastated and lost about what to do next. And over and over again, it gives me an opportunity to tell them just how hopeful I am. For more information on Alport Syndrome, visit alportsyndrome.org. And you can always visit our website, thebalancingact.com.